Atmospheric Pressure Thrust per unit area is called pressure as we have studied in the previous lesson. Here we are pushing a thumb stack on a wooden block. Water pressure deep under the sea is so high that the divers have to wear specially designed airfield suits for their protection under water. The dams being raised have thick walls towards the base to withstand the huge pressure from the water stored above. Air is all around us. Air surrounds the earth. The air around earth is called atmosphere. Air content and atmospheric pressure vary at different level. Air is more dense near the earth. It goes on thinning out as we go up. Same is true of the air pressure. So as we go up, the air pressure also reduces. Air pressure is very high near the earth and it goes on decreasing as we go up. As we all know, air is colorless. It is not been seen. We only feel the presence of air. Air has mass or weight. Let's conduct an experiment to show that air has weight. Take two balloons and a balance which is calibrated. Place one empty balloon on each side of the balance. You can see that the weight of both the balloons are same. Now fill air in one balloon and place it in the balance. You can see that it has tilted slightly. The weight of air is very less. If we fill the balloon with more air, we will notice that the balance will tilt more. What does this prove? This proves that air has weight. Air occupies space. Now let us do a simple experiment to show that air occupies space. Take colored water in a jug. Take a white piece of paper, crumple it and place it at the bottom of a transparent glass. Now you can see that this part of the glass is empty. Now Take this glass, invert it and immerse it completely in the jug of colored water. Now the water has to go in this empty space and soak the paper, right? Now let's see if that is what has happened. Is there any color on the paper? No. And the paper is not even wet. So take the paper out and see now. You can see that the paper is completely dry. So how do we prove that the paper is dry? Let us set the paper on fire. Now you can see that the paper has caught fire immediately. This shows that there is no moisture in the paper. So in the empty space where we thought that the water would go inside, there was air and the air has not allowed the water to go inside. This very clearly shows that air occupies space.
air also exerts pressure air exerts pressure what are the different types of pressure it exerts for the first experiment let's take a glass full of water take a piece of cardboard and cover it now invert the glass quickly you see that the cardboard does not fall down this is not magic then why does this happen this happens because air is exerting pressure upwards to hold the cardboard so what did we learn from this we now know that air exerts pressure upwards The pressure of the air is called the atmospheric pressure. Do you know children, atmospheric pressure goes on decreasing as we go up. On high hills, the atmospheric pressure is less. It is assumed that on an average, the atmospheric pressure is 1 kg per square centimeter at sea level. Unit of pressure for measuring pressure on a surface. Normally, we measure pressure as a force per unit area. Force is measured in kilogram weight and area is measured in square centimeter. So, one atmosphere is nearly 1 kg per square centimeter. The column of 1 square centimeter of air is the atmosphere exerts a pressure equal to 1 kg. Note that children, unit of measuring atmospheric pressure is known as atmosphere. And SI unit of measuring pressure is Pascal, symbolized by capital P and small a. 1 PA is equals to 1 Pascal, which is pressure exerted, which we can say equal to 100 gram per square centimeter, sorry, per square meter. 1 atmosphere is equal to 1000 gram per square centimeter. So, 1 kg is equals to 100 into 10 gram. Therefore, 1 square meter is equals to 10,000 square centimeter. So, we can say 1 atmospheric pressure which is equals to 100,000 pascal or 100 kilopascal. 1 kilopascal equals to 1000 pascal. Note that Atmospheric pressure on Earth's surface at sea level is 100 kilopascal.